Hey guys, Frightener22 here, and welcome to my December 9th DVD and Blu-ray update. It's been two weeks since my last DVD and Blu-ray update, and I just have a ton of stuff to show you guys. Things that I picked up during Black Friday, tons of pre-orders that I had put in, and just tons and tons of impulse buys that I just couldn't resist picking up. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this awesome, epic update that just shows a ton of very diverse and different things. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I got was a pretty epic one that I picked up on Black Friday, and I actually got this for a steal. I got this for less than 100 bucks, and it is the Bond 50 set. I'm sure you guys have seen this at your local Best Buys or on Amazon. It just came out recently, and it's the entire Bond collection, um, you know, from Dr. No to the most recent film, Quantum of Solace, and then there's an empty slot for Skyfall once that comes to home video release, which I believe is going to be in March. But yeah, this was just such a cool box set. I couldn't resist ha um, not getting it because I just have so many awesome franchises, franchises and box sets such as Back to the Future, Alien, Star Wars, and Bond was just another one of those epic franchises that I needed to have in my collection. So once this was released, I knew at some point I had to get it, and Black Friday certainly seemed to be the right time to get it. For less than 100 bucks. I don't understand how you could go wrong. I believe there's 22 films in here all together, spanning over two collections, the first one being from 1962 to 1960. 1981, and the second one being 1983 to 2012. So I haven't cut into any of these because um, actually prior to getting this, of course, I bought um, Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace separately to catch up um, on the Daniel Craig Bond films, which I hadn't seen yet before seeing Skyfall. And then, of course, this came out, and uh, at such a low deal, I figured out oh, what the hell, I'll definitely sacrifice double dipping on those two just to get this for less than 100 bucks. So, um, I think you can get this for slightly higher now. I think it's maybe like 130 or what have you, but even that's not really unreasonable considering what you're getting in this um, collection. So, if you're a Bond fan or, you know, kind of, even if you're more of a casual Bond fan like myself, I consider myself a fan, but I certainly haven't seen a ton of the Bond films. I think I've seen Dr. No, Golden Eye, and now the two Daniel Craig ones. So I had, or the three Daniel Craig ones, because I did see Skyfall and I really, really enjoyed it. But, you know, I haven't seen a ton more. So I wanted to get this collection just pretty much to catch up on all the other films in this franchise that I haven't seen yet. So if you're a fan like me, then this is definitely the way to go to catch up and, you know, see all of the classic films in this franchise. So check it out. Uh, the next one I got is actually, um, the next few are actually are Black Friday deals that I scooped up, uh, lightning deals on Amazon. So the first one is just, uh, blatant buy and buy, uh, blind buy, but I picked it up for like $8.99 and I still haven't checked it out yet. It's the two disc Blu-ray edition of The Hunger Games. Like I said, I haven't watched this yet, but I've heard pretty good things, you know, different things varying from really good to kind of eh. It stars Jennifer Lawrence, and of course it's based on the popular book series of the same name, but for the most part, what I have been hearing about this film has been pretty positive, so I am looking forward to cutting into it at some point. I mean, there's just so much stuff in this collection that I'm either in the middle of or I just checked out, but for the majority of them, I haven't gotten to them yet because this is just... this updates just absolutely ridiculous so this is definitely one that i'm going to get to eventually um the next one i got is coincidentally one that i just watched today and i got this for less than five bucks during a uh, amazon black friday deal and it's a spongebob christmas originally this was supposed to be coming out to blu-ray but they canceled the blu-ray plans prior to its release date and they stuck with just a dvd only edition not that that's a bad thing, it's actually fine, and for less than five bucks, you really can't go wrong with this 22-minute Christmas special. It's awesome, they developed it in the same style that they did, you know, those classic old stop-motion um, Christmas specials like Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and this is just done with the exact same charm and style that those films were. I really, really enjoy this. I'm not an obsessive SpongeBob fan, but of course, you know, like, you watch an episode, I kind of grew up with him, like, I, the show debuted when I was in seventh grade, and to, and to know that it's still going strong, uh, strong now definitely means they're doing something right, and I'll admit, the show's very funny, there's a lot of great animation in it, tons of talented people, 
are involved with this. And I do enjoy SpongeBob for the most part. I just don't watch it nearly as much as I probably should. But I had to get this, if only because I thought it was very interesting and very cool to see them jump into stop motion for this Christmas special. But um, I would definitely recommend checking this out during the holiday season. It's really fun, and it's incredibly well done. The stop motion animators did a phenomenal job on this, so definitely check this out. Uh, the next one I got is, again, a Black Friday pickup. I think I got this for less than $4. And I remember seeing the trailers for this and thinking that this was going to uh, be really cool. So we'll see what the verdict is once I check this out. And this is Battle Los Angeles. Uh, you know, aliens land on planet Earth, and it's the humans against the aliens for, you know, fight for survival for the planet. The trailers look pretty cool. I think it kind of just overall ended up being somewhat of a mediocre film, but nonetheless, for less than $4, how can you go wrong? Uh, the next one I got, I picked up, and when this first came out, I had this pre-ordered the day it came out, but I canceled it because it was like, $22, and as much as I was beyond curious about it, I canceled it, because I was like, eh, let me just wait on that, and I'm glad I did, because over Black Friday weekend, uh, Best Buy had a sale on it for $7.99, which Amazon quickly matched, and once they did, I scooped it up for $7.99, and this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of A Christmas Story 2. No, I have not watched it yet, but I think I'm going to watch it at least this week. This is a direct sequel to the classic 1983 Bob Clark film that we all love and watch 24 hours straight on TNT every single Christmas. This is a direct sequel that picks up a few years later where Ralphie is older, he's a teenager, and he's really longing for his first car. None of the original cast is back. Daniel Stern, though, is cast as the old man, which I have to say piques my interest a hell of a lot more because I love Daniel Stern. I've loved him for years, and it's always really cool to see him in anything these days. It was great to see him make a cool return in Whip It a few years ago. So to see him in anything, especially a sequel to A Christmas Story, definitely piques my interest. I'm not expecting greatness. I'm not even expecting anything good. For the most part, I've heard that this is a pretty bad movie, but bad but in a way where there it's still worth watching and if you're a fan of holiday films especially a christmas story it's nice just having on a shelf and that's good enough for me so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this film is all about um i don't know time will tell we'll see Next one I got is a film that was another Black Friday pickup, uh, but I'm happy that I did because this is actually one of my favorite Michael Mann films, and this is Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx in Collateral. Loved this film um, ever since it came out back in 2004. I saw it theatrically. Really loved it. Awesome style. Um, great camera work in this one. Tom Cruise is really great. I love his character in it. He's got some great lines in this. And Jamie Foxx's performance was really stellar in this. I really liked um, what he brought to the table in this. Um, overall, it's a really solid film. If you're a fan of Michael Mann, uh, I would not um, hesitate to check this one out if you guys have never seen it. It's a really good one. Um, two more Black Friday pickups, which is really good considering uh, Quentin Tarantino has his new film, Django Unchained, coming out Christmas Day. So I wanted to just round out my Tarantino collection since I have Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown and Inglorious Bastards. I figured it was finally time to get the rest of them on the Blu-ray format. So uh, Black Friday pickups, I got this for $4, and this is Kill Bill Volume 1. Awesome film. And, of course, I had to pick up its sequel, Kill Bill Volume 2. Both these I got for, like, four bucks over Black Friday. Um, saw both of these films the day they came out uh, in theaters, and I've loved them ever since. I actually have um, a replica Hattori Hanzo sword that I fortunately had David Carradine sign before he passed away, so that is a really, really cool um, thing that I have in my collection. So, uh, yeah, like I said, Tarantino, Uma Thurman, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, awesome flicks. Uh, the next one I got was a film that I saw in theaters that I actually liked for the most part, and uh, although I didn't rush to get it, um, I'm happy that I got to pick it up on uh, Amazon's Black Friday sales for, I think it was 7 or eight ninety nine, which was great because I'm really looking forward to revisiting this because there was a lot of cool stuff going on in this film. Um, I didn't walk out of the theater, you know, drooling over it thinking it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. But I thought it was good. I thought there was a lot of cool production design. I thought the look of it looked really great. So I'm excited to kind of 
do uh, take a second peek at it. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo extended edition of Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, you know, I liked this film. Like I said, for the most part, there was a lot of great things going on in it. Um, it apparently definitely did do really well at the box office because they're working on a sequel as we speak. Um, Charlie Theron um, was really good in it as the evil queen. I really liked her. Uh, Liam, um, excuse me, Chris Hemsworth as the huntsman was really awesome. And Kristen Stewart, although a lot of people don't really like her, I think that she was used very well in this for the most part. Uh, I liked her. Um, she, I, she pretty much did what she had to do, which was good enough for me. But, you know, overall, this is a good film. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, depending on your taste, it might not be worth at owning in your collection. But personally, I'm really happy that I have it, especially for the deal that I got on it. Um, another thing that I picked up from uh, my favorite company, Shout Factory, um, I owned the for, I picked up the first season of uh, back when it originally came out on Blu-ray. I haven't checked it out yet, but I, I collect every single show, um, or at least every uh, version, uh, new ver series that this show spawned, so this is one that I had to pick up, although I haven't started this specific series yet. So I picked up Season 2 of Transformers Prime on Blu-ray. It looks really cool. I hear nothing but good things. It comes with a cool slipcover. It's a four-disc set. Um, there's some cool bonus features in this, including... Uh, New interviews with the creative team, Optimus Prime, Up Close and Personal. Um, it's a panel discussion from San Diego Comic-Con um, this past year. Um, so yeah, overall I've heard really good things about um, this new Transformers show. It's going on really well. I believe it airs on The Hub. If I'm not 100% I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's um, the show that airs it currently. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to checking this out. I'm still working on my G1 set, and then I'm going to move on to Beast Wars and what have you. So this is, you know, a long ways away, hopefully not too long, but I'm happy to know that it's still a worthy entry into the Transformers universe. Next one I got is, um, it was actually during Cyber Monday um, that I picked this up. And it was on sale, and coincidentally the same day it was on sale, it ended up in my gold box. Uh, so I actually got it for a little bit cheaper. So I, I picked this up for $25, bucks, um, and this is the Forever Maryland's uh, Blu-ray collection. There are six or there's seven films in this um, with uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, Return, River of No Return, There's No Business Like Show Business, The Seven Year Itch, Some Like It Hot, and The Misfits. Um, really cool collection. I know two of these films have been released previously on the Blu-ray format. I believe it was Some Like It Hot, and There's No Business Like Show Business, I think. Uh, everything else is, um, I know it's at least two of them were on Blu-ray previously, but everything else is the first time they've ever been on the format, so this is a really cool collection to pick up, um, at the right price. The only thing that people are kind of bickering about, and, uh, I... I don't blame them either because I'm, I'm OCD about this stuff, is the packaging certainly could have been done better. Um, the series of films are kind of, um, they're spanned across two little booklets. This is the first booklet, and they're kind of put in these little pockets, which um, are fine when they're, um, you know, nestled in there and you kind of have them all organized, but, you know, especially if you're ordering online through shipping, they might come slightly dislodged. Mine didn't come dislodged. Um, exactly, they were kind of slipping out a little bit, but thankfully, um, no scratches, nothing terrible, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely something that you don't want to kind of jumble around in your backpack or whatever. The packaging certainly could, uh, be better, but, you know, it's Marilyn Monroe, it's a great seven-disc collection, so like I said, for the right price, if you like her for films, or her presence in films, this collection is definitely the way to go. Um, moving on... Uh, this is still part of the Black Friday, um, Cyber Monday type haul. And this was um, Tony Scott's last film that he did before he passed on. And this is um, Denzel Washington and Chris Pine in Unstoppable. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to catch this film when it was released uh, theatrically. And I've been putting off buying it for some time. So on uh, Black Friday, we could drop to like, you know, not even $4. So I was one of the lucky ones to scoop it up. Really happy that I did because I'm a huge Tony Scott fan. And unfortunately, we're not going to see any new films from him ever again. So to check out his last um, directed film is going to be a real nice treat for me when I get around to it. Uh, the next one I got is one that I actually have been wanting to pick up for a while because it was um, 
it was intri very intriguing to me. Um, and I caught some of it on TV, so that's really what put me over the edge to pick it up, because there was a sale on it on Black Friday. It came down to like 11 bucks, and this is the Blu-ray DVD pack of Megamind. I know I'm not the hugest fan of DreamWorks. I definitely favored Disney, Pixar, and even Sony Pictures Animation to an extent over um, some of DreamWorks' more recent ones. That being said, um, their most recent effort, which is now in theaters, Rise of the Guardians, was fucking phenomenal. I loved it. That is probably my favorite DreamWorks animated film yet. I thought it was just friggin' terrific. I loved it. And what a hell of an achievement for a first-time director. That is a directorial debut from a really, really talented guy. But, um, yeah, Megamind was just another one that I wanted to get. I eventually want to get the Shrek collection. I want to get that very soon, because I do have Puss in Boots. I have um, the two Kung Fu Pandas. So with this now, I feel like not having the Shrek collection, you know, not having it, it just feels very empty in my collection for some reason. So Megamind is definitely a nice step in the right direction to kind of, you know, building up my DreamWorks animated film collection. Uh, the next one I got is another animated film from this past summer that I really enjoyed a lot. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Paranorman. This is the second feature film from Leica, who um, were originally responsible for Coraline. So if you like Coraline, I think that you're going to walk into Paranorman um, having your expectations met for the most part. I didn't think Paranorman was quite as good as Coraline. It was different. That's the thing. It definitely was different. I mean, they definitely kind of both deal with the eerie kind of, you know, uh, horrific backdrops. You know, it's kind of spookier type films for children, but they're very different in their stories and their characters. And although I do kind of favor Coraline a little bit more. Paranorman was still a ton of fun. The stop motion is nothing less than breathtaking. And um, yeah, if you haven't seen this, uh, you're really missing out because this is, I'm sure that this film has got to be a shoe in for a Best Animated Oscar nomination because it was really great. Um, a lot of great voice work was put into this. And like I said, the stop motion is some of the best you'll see. So definitely check out Paranorman if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, the next one I got is another one that I wanted to, that I missed in theaters, but I've been wanting to check it out. And luckily there was another Black Friday um, sale on this, and it was like not even nine bucks, so I did a blind buy on it. It's the Blu ray DVD combo pack of Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds in Safe House. Uh, I remember seeing the trailers. It was Denzel. He looked really cool, like very awesome looking performance, like he was bringing to the table. So thankfully, there was a really unexpected uh, price drop on it, so I knew I had to have it. So I'll be checking this one out soon. Now, the next one. You're going to have to bear with me because I'm going to bring this thing up, but I'm not going to hold it for very long because this thing is fucking enormous and it's really, really heavy. Now, this is something that I really blew my wad on, maybe a little too much, and perhaps my credit card bill is, you know, a little too high right now because of this purchase, but... I just wanted to fucking have it. I don't know why. I mean, it just... I loved this film. I'm sorry. I loved this show as a kid. I used to watch it all the time on the Sci-Fi channel. So I was like, oh, God, there was, like, a Black Friday sale on it. Not, like, I mean, it's still a lot of money considering what the sale was, but what you're getting out of this set is a lot of shit. So I was one of the few idiots or lucky people, if you, depending on who you are, that pick this up on Black Friday. So, without further ado, and again, bear with me because this thing is really heavy, this is the complete uh, original series of Dark Shadows. This thing is beyond epic. I mean, this thing takes, like, this thing pretty much comes up to my knee. Uh, it takes up a huge, huge area of my closet space now, where a lot of my other movies are being held currently. This thing is just huge. It comes with the entire run of the series, which I, which I believe is over 1,100 episodes, spanning over 131 discs. That's a lot of shit. So I'm going to try and open this up. So there is Barnabas Collins laying spread out over all of the all over all the spines of the discs. 
So you can imagine once it's, you know, lying down like the actual coffin that it's supposed to be. It looks really, really cool. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be putting this down because this thing is really heavy and it's really annoying to lift up to the camera. But there you are, Dark Shadows, the complete original series. Yep. Holy cow. Whew. Now, if that weren't enough for classic television, I also picked up another Shout Factory complete series collection that was just really lacking in my collection, but there was a nice Cyber Monday sale on it, so I figured, what the hell, my credit card bill is a huge already, so why not? So I picked up the complete series of Leave it to Beaver. How I didn't have this in my collection for the longest time is beyond me, but I'm really happy that I have it now. This is the complete, um, complete series spanning um, all six seasons. Each season is a six DVD set. It comes with a really... Um, Nice um, slim case right here um, that's a uh, bonus feature discs. Um, like I said, this is the complete run, 234 episodes of this classic show. So really happy that uh, I filled another big void in my Epic Shot Factory collection, but I just couldn't resist uh, once this went on sale. Uh, moving on, um, being that it is the Christmas season, I had to pick up some more Christmas movies. So I picked up the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Dr. Seuss's how the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Ron Howard film starring Jim Carrey. Um, the next one I got, which I'm really happy about, I saw at my local Best Buy, which is a place that I rarely shop at, but um, I picked this up because I just found it on the shelf. I was so happy um, to kind of start um, nearing the end of my Universal uh, 100 digit book collection, so I found Jaws there for $19.99, believe that. So although I did own the standard Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Jaws, once I saw this, I, I had to have this in my collection, the Digibook. So really, really thrilled that I got this. Um, the next one I got is a film that I walked into this summer expecting it to be horrible and for me to come out saying it was the worst one of the series when, interestingly enough, I walked out of it feeling the exact opposite. I thought that this film was the best of all three films. Um, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo back of Men in Black 3. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually have been telling people off the hook that I think Men in Black 3 is the best Men in Black yet. I really do. The first one is great. The second one's a piece of shit. The second one is not a good movie. I mean, I revisited it um, right before the third one came out, and I was just like, wow, was this a bad movie? Like, no wonder there was such a, you know, um, you know, a break in between the second and the third one, because the second one was just not a good movie, regardless of how much money it made. But, um, you know, Men in Black 3 really knocked it out of the park for me. I just really, really dug this. So if you guys have kind of been on the fence about checking it out, whether um, a franchise that hasn't kind of been, you know, at the forefront of people's minds for so many years... Um, and you're hesitant on how good or bad it could be, take my word for it. This is the best one of the series, so I, you should definitely check this one out. Um, pick this up. This came actually pretty late. This is another Black Friday pickup, um, but it just got here way after the fact because there was a long wait on it, but I picked this up for $3.99, and it's the Blu-ray edition of Caddyshack, another classic. Um, I picked up a few indie movies that were um, priced kind of high, but I figured... Um, I wanted to check them out, and I kind of wanted to have them in the collection, so I, you know, did a gamble and picked them up. The first one I got is Safety Not Guaranteed. This was a really cool, charming film. It's from the producers of Little Miss Sunshine. I don't want to talk too much about it, because I think it's really cool if you just kind of check it out on your own, but um, it's got Mark Duplass in it. He's a director and actor. Um, he directs films with his brother. Um, they made Cyrus and Jeff Who Lives at Home, which are great movies. Jeff Who Lives at Home was actually one of my favorite movies of the year last year. Um, but this film is really good. It's really charming, very heartfelt. And um, the guy that wrote this actually has been um, tapped to write a mystery mystery, something that we do not know yet, a mystery Pixar film, which is very, very interesting, in lieu of how many Pixar films that we know are currently in production. We know that Monsters University is coming out in June. We know that there is the Inside the Mind Pixar movie that Pete Docter is preparing. There is The Good Dinosaur that is coming. 
There is um, a Dia de los Muertos movie that Lee Unkrich is working on. Um, and I believe there may be one more in there that we do know about already. We do know about them. But um, this mystery Pixar film is something that the writer of this film has been uh, hired to draft. So take that for what it is. And the man that directed this film actually is a huge, huge fan of Disney's Flight of the Navigator film. And he has just been hired to develop a remake of Flight of the Navigator, which should be kind of interesting. I mean, because Disney hasn't, you know, oh, you know, jumped on the remake train as much as all the other studios have. I'm not saying that they haven't. I can't think of some off the top of my head. Sure, they've brought back older franchises and kind of made them relevant again, but straight up remakes of their own properties, not really. They haven't really abused it as much as other studios. So that should be interesting to see how that develops. But nonetheless, um, safety not guaranteed, cool film. I would definitely recommend it. It's an interesting one. Here's one that I'm sure to get chewed up about, but I don't give a fuck because I love Shout Factor and I enjoy supporting this company because they do cool things. And this is um, this was actually an Amazon.com exclusive. Amazon.com exclusive. So please, when I show this and you guys get all jealous and wonder where did he pick this up, it's only on Amazon. It's an Amazon.com exclusive. So don't go to your Target or your Best Buys trying to find this because you can only get it on Amazon. And it is the full season one set of... My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, a DVD TV collection for the serious collector. Yeah, I know, it's really girly and cheesy, and I'm not a four-year-old girl, so why do I have this? Because I'm a Shout Factory fan, and I'm a huge pop culture nut, so I've been hearing a lot of hoopla about how funny this show actually is, and um, I've been hearing that. I'm not a brony, uh, at least not yet because I haven't watched this show yet, but I want to see what this is all about, because there's obviously a buzz about it, people like it, people think it's funny, so there's something that might need to be seen here, and I want to check it out, so I am happy to have this in my collection, but like I said, if you are a fan of My Little Pony or something, this is the full season one collection, I know that they've released several, um, My Little Pony DVD releases, so, uh, this is, um, the First time that the, season, the entire season one is compiled together. And again, this is only available on Amazon. So if you've held off on all the other releases like I have, and um, this is definitely the way to go. Um, I know we're kind of getting to like the half hour mark, and I still have a ton of stuff to show you guys. So definitely bear with me. This epic uh, DVD update is probably only halfway done. So sit tight. It's getting there. Uh, the next one I got is, uh, was a blind buy, but I thought it looked really interesting, and it's the collector's edition of The Adventures of Mark Twain. This is a stop-motion film from, I believe, 1986. I don't know anything about it. It went up for pre-order. I did very minimal research on it. I just thought it looked cool, so I th would pick it up because I love animation, and I think that this looks really great. It's uh, directed by Will Vinton. Um, it just looks cool. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to check this out. Next one I got is Blu-ray uh, from one of my favorite directors of all time and one of his uh, most underrated films from, I believe, the last 10 years. And this is Leo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks in Catch Me If You Can. Terrific movie. Check this out. Uh, the next one I got is the film that has finally completed my uh, Pixar Blu-ray collection. So without further ado, the Collector's Edition Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Finding Nemo. So, so happy to be holding this in my hand right now. I love the fact that all the great Pixar movies, everything's finally out now. So this is one of the best ones. It's a great film. I saw this when it got re-released in theaters in 3D this past fall. Very happy to have this on Blu-ray. If you've never seen this, what are you waiting for? It's, it's Disney. It's Pixar. How can you go wrong? It's great. Um, here is one of those other indies that I did a blind buy on. Um, this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard nothing but great, great things. Such a Talk about a cool cast. I do like Wes Anderson. Uh, he always does interesting things. He And he knows how to get such a hell of a cast. I mean, every cast is just great in his movie. So I'm really looking forward to this because people have been deeming this uh, Wes Anderson's best film yet. So very excited about that. 
Um, back to Universal 100 digit books. This is actually the film that completed my Universal 100 digit book collection. So there was a price drop on it for like 18 bucks, and I was happy to pay for it. And it is um, a Sidney Pollock film. Robert Redford and Meryl Streep in Out of Africa. Never seen this film, but it was part of the Digibook collection, so I had to pick this up. I'm excited to check this out. And that third uh, indie film that I wanted to pick up, um, it's a complete blind buy. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Steve Carell and Keira Knightley in Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. I remember seeing trailers about this. It looked pretty interesting, and I've heard that it is actually uh, pretty darn good, so I'll uh, be looking forward to checking this out. Um, next one I got is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of the remake of Silent Night. Uh, I think, I'm going to think I'm going to get to this this week, actually, because um, I've been wanting to check it out. The trailers look really badass for it. Uh, from Shout Factory, this is Volume 2 of Ninja Turtles, The Next, Muta Next Mutation, which is part of the Saban deal that Shout landed that has been bringing this show, Power Rangers, VR Troopers, and Big Bad Beetleborgs to our DVD and Blu-ray players, finally. Um, and Volume 2 of Ninja Turtles, The Next, Muta Nic Next Mutation, actually wraps up the entire run of the series, so... It's always nice to uh, wrap up a show, although no matter you know how short-lived it may have been, it's great to always complete shows, so I'm very happy that this came out um, as quickly as it did, so props to you, Shout Factory. Uh, the next one I picked up, um, it's odd in the sense that this complete season has been released before the first one, and I'll explain that a little bit better. Um... This is the complete season of Power Rangers Super Samurai. I haven't watched the show, really, because, um, you know, I'm, I kind of just grew up with the classic ones, but I do have the, that first big box of seasons one through seven, and I'm sure season seven through whatever it may be, I think 14 or what have you, um, will be coming out eventually from Shout Factory. So I want to keep up to date with all the current seasons that are coming out the thing that makes this weird is that super samurai is a bit of just a continuation of power rangers samurai and it's weird that super samurai the complete season would come out before power rangers samurai since that's you know it, it's just odd to me but i'm not gonna waste time you know trying to figure it out this season came out so i had to pick it up i do have a major complaint with this though is it comes with a slipcover it's a little bit thicker than, you know, it's kind of a, like, bigger than your average DVD, um, case. It's like two, it's like the size of, like, two DVDs put together. But the thing that bums me out about this is that the DVD set, at least, the, there's three discs and they're stacked. Like, it's just one holder and all three discs are just stacked on it. And I open that and I'm like, what year is it? Are you Echo Bridge? Like, are you Mill Creek? Like, who does that? Who does these collections of, like, stacking discs in one holder? I mean, like, I hate to just use Shout Factory for every reason of everything that's good, but, I, okay, Ninja Turtles is, like, the one that's looking at me right now, so I, I have to use that as an example, but, like, what's wrong with the flippers, like, in a DVD case? I mean, it just kind of goes to show that, you know, you you care about the product, and, it you know, it's it's just safer for the discs, for the fans, and what have you, but... I guess then again, this is the newest season of Power Rangers, and it's definitely directed for kids of, you know, for the demographic of younger kids now, so I don't really think that they're caring about, you know, collectors like me, but it definitely is an OCD pet peeve of mine. I hate seeing stacked disc, um, you know, collections like this, but nonetheless, it's part of the Power Rangers saga, so I did have to add it into my collection. The next one I got is one that I'm sure... Everybody picked up in one release or another because there's a billion of them for this film. But I went and bought the trilogy because I didn't own the previous films on Blu-ray yet. I had them on DVD, but I decided this was for 27 bucks. This is the best way to go, and this is what will please me the most. And this is uh, the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu-ray. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and the most recent film, The Dark Knight Rises. For 27 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. Um, all three films in a really nice collectible case. Really nice big booklet on this um, inside. So yeah, this was definitely the best way to go for me. I know that there's like a ton of different versions of The Dark Knight Rises, all in different territories throughout the globe. But this is definitely the one that um, served its purpose for me. 
And now that we're on to the final stretch of things, uh, let's see. These ones I can just kind of blow by right now. Um, pick these up because they all dropped at basically the same price. I picked up Blade, uh, the best one of the series, Guillermo del Toro directed Blade 2. And the one that I haven't even seen yet, actually, is the third one, Blade Trinity, which I've heard is actually the worst one. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, they just dropped to, like, $7.99, so I kind of wanted them. Mainly it was for Blade 2, because I love Guillermo del Toro, and that was one of the, uh, that was, like, the only film of his that I was missing that's on Blu-ray. I think the only thing that's not released in the U.S. is, I think, The Devil's Backbone. I think that's the only one. So I just figured I'd get the whole trilogy. Uh, the next two I got, um, the first one is the extended director's cut of The Expendables. Really liked this film. This was uh, the more recent cut that came out a year ago, the director's cut. And picking that up, I just had to go ahead and pick up uh, The Expendables 2, because unfortunately I missed this in the theaters this summer, but uh, I had to have it in the collection with all these great action stars and that I love films like these. Uh, and coming down to some of my most recent titles... Uh, this was just a blind buy, of course, keeping with the Christmas season. Um, this is Bill Murray and Scrooge on Blu-ray. Nice lenticular slipcover on that. Um, a Disney release that I saw this summer, which I thought was nice. It was a charming little film. And this is The Odd Life of Timothy Green. Nothing special, but it was still a nice, uh, sweet way to spend like an hour and 40 minutes. So it was cool. Nice Warner Digit book that I picked up for $7.99, a uh, classic film. Uh, this is Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman in The Shawshank Redemption. Amazing film. If you haven't seen it, this is definitely one of the most important films in this Blu-ray DVD update to check out if you haven't already. Um, I picked this up because although I've had the original on DVD, it's uh, the original release that Anchor Bay put out, which is long out of print was fetching crazy high prices i double dipped on this double feature set because um i never had part two on dvd so now i have the entire uh run of the original silent night deadly night series so this is um the devil feature two disc set of silent night deadly night one and two this was like 10 bucks so if you guys missed out on both of these films during their original DVD releases, now is definitely the time to pick it up before this goes out of print and fetches ridiculous prices all over again, so don't hesitate this time. Um, finishing up my Quentin Tarantino Blu-ray collection, at least until Django Unchained comes out, um, is the 15th anniversary edition of Reservoir Dogs. Always loved this film. Uh, it just dropped to like four bucks, so I picked it up. I was waiting a while on it because a lot of people uh, bought it, so it was sold out for a while, so I had to wait for it to be put back in stock. Uh, next one I got was A Blind Buy. I've heard this movie's not great, but it, um, for better or worse, it is kind of part of the Tales from the Crypt film saga. And this is the first time it's out on Blu-ray, and it's a ritual. It was like uh, 10 bucks on Amazon. I'm pissed because two days after I got it on release day, it dropped to Best Buy's price of $7.99, so got fucked for a few bucks. Um, I picked up this show. It's a Shout Factory release. Um... This was like 10 bucks, but I just wanted to pick it up because it seemed kind of cool. It's like a recent animated show for kids. I think it's based on like a, like a card game or a game of some sort. And this is Kaijudo, Rise of the Duel Masters. I think it's got like six, the first six episodes of the series on it. So it's not a full season release, but I figured, you know, I've never seen this show. It's brand new. It comes with a nice slip cover on it. Um, I figured, what the hell, you know, I'll check it out. It seems cool. Um, and the last two I got just yesterday were two, um, well, this one, the first one, actually, I was looking to get, uh, for a while, but it was always, like, ridiculously priced, and now the sale that they had is over, like, now the, um, this one that I'm about to show is, like, 31, and I got it for, like, 17, and this is, um, Judy Garland and Meet Me in St. Louis, another really nice Warner Digit book, and the final, um, title that I picked up as part of this DVD and Blu-ray update, is the 70th anniversary edition uh, Blu-ray digit book of Orson Welles, Citizen Kane. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw this in high school. I didn't really think most, you know, much of it, but that was years ago. I was a little younger, maybe a little bit uh, ignorant when it came to things like this, but, you know, I wanted to have it in the collection for to revisit it, and the transfer on these things are amazing. There's a cool documentary with it, so I'm very interested to see all about it and revisiting a classic film like this. 
Well, guys, thanks again for tuning in for this very epic and very long DVD and Blu-ray update. Um, can you imagine? It's only been two weeks since my last update, and I got all this stuff to show you guys. I'm just out of control these days. But um, as always, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Please comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love checking out your comments and knowing that you guys are enjoying all the stuff that I'm showing you. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Frightener22, where you can see pictures of everything that I get in, whether it be books or movies in the mail on a daily basis. On a daily basis, it's kind of like a quick fix. Um, to hold you over until uh, I get around to doing an actual DVD update every two weeks. But it's fun. It's a cool new social media outlet for me to kind of get into. And I'm enjoying doing it. So if you have Twitter, definitely follow me there. Um, but until then, um, come back in a two weeks or so, and you'll see me in another DVD and Blu-ray update. Until then, guys, thanks again for tuning in. This has been Frightener22.